Forget to turn off the ringer before a big meeting? When a call comes in, push the sleep-wake button once to silence the ring, or push it twice to immediately send the call to voicemail. Silence all the sounds with the silent ringer switch. Here's a quick and easy way to delete email and SMS text messages on iPhone. Simply flick from left to right across the message, then tap Delete. Tap anywhere other than the red Delete button to cancel. Favorites is a great way to speed dial. To create a list of your favorite numbers, tap the Favorites button. Then tap the plus button to add a new favorite from your contacts. Tap Edit to rearrange or remove favorites. Tap the blue arrow next to a name to see all the contact details. By assigning a photo or ringtone to one of your contacts, you can not only see who's calling, you can also hear who's calling. Tap Edit on a contact, then tap Add Photo. You can either take a photo with the integrated camera or choose one from your photo library. To assign a ringtone, tap Assign Ringtone and choose the one that you like. It's just another way iPhone makes your calls more personal. With iPhone, you can touch your music. While a song's playing, tap the album art to see the on-screen controls, including shuffle, repeat, and the scrubber. Tap again to hide them. Tap the list button to see other songs on the album, and tap a song to play. And of course, you can rotate iPhone to the landscape orientation anytime you're an iPod to see all of your albums in cover flow. A great way to look at your music library is with CoverFlow, just like in iTunes. To use CoverFlow, rotate iPhone 90 degrees and flick through your album art. Tap any album to see its track list, then tap any track to play it. Tap outside the track list to flip back to the album artwork. Need to add something to a list or change an email? Simply touch and hold your finger on the text you want to edit to bring up the magnifying glass. Move your finger to position the insertion point, then type using the keyboard. There are several email preferences that you can adjust. Tap Settings, then tap Mail. To add an email account, tap Add Account. You can have multiple email accounts on iPhone at a time. iPhone can automatically check for new email, so your mail is already downloaded and waiting for you. To set how often iPhone checks, tap Auto Check. Choose the interval that's right for you. Checking less frequently will improve your battery life. Tap here to adjust how many recent messages are displayed. And tap Preview to see how many lines of text are shown in the email preview. To increase or decrease the email font size, tap Minimum Font Size. There are options to show the To or CC label. And to be prompted before deleting a message, tap here. You can also select to be CC'd on outgoing emails. And you can even customize your email signature. You can protect your iPhone with a four-digit passcode. Tap Settings, then tap General, and Passcode Lock. Enter a four-digit code, and verify. The passcode is now required whenever iPhone is turned on or wakes from sleep. But if needed, you can make an emergency call. If you ever forget your passcode, dock your iPhone to the computer you activated with to restore it. If an application isn't responding, press and hold the Home button until the Home screen appears, about 6 seconds. 
To reset your iPhone, press and hold both the sleep-wake button and the home button for about 8 seconds, or until you see the Apple logo.